Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coastal Cooking, coming at you. Tonight, or this afternoon, we got some wonderful country style ribs. We got some more of those Butcher's Barbecue products. And what we're gonna do, make these, maybe make them into some burn ins as well. But first off, I'm gonna get a good coat of mustard on the ribs, just as a binder to hold this rub on, all right? Okay, hopefully y'all can see, I got them all coated with that mustard. And first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a little base coat of this private seasonings rub. This rub's actually got a little bit of uh, molasses powder in it, so it's really good. It's got some other herbs and spices, sugar, stuff like that. Uh, it's got, uh, what else, some garlic in there. Some really just good stuff, and I think this is gonna give it a nice, good base flavor. So we're just gonna kinda sprinkle this around on the first on these uh, French style ribs. Then I'm gonna come in with the honey rub and make the second layer. All right, and it's that honey for the money. I mean, that's that good, good stuff there. All right, and go ahead and just kind of move these around. Um, I wanna make sure we get everything. Yeah, I'm gonna flip them over, we'll get the other side. And I'll come right back to y'all. All right, now that we've got everything rubbed down, we're just gonna kind of let it chill out and mingle in the fridge for a little bit while I get the pit ready. Oh yeah. Hey y'all, now we're gonna make a spritz. I'm gonna go ahead and do this while I get the camera inside. Uh, to spray on the uh, country style ribs while they're cooking, I got some concentrated apple juice. I like to use this, because I'll be honest with you, most of the apple juice you buy in the grocery store, the reason it's so cheap is because it's mostly water anyway, so. Try to get it concentrated down, just for special for something like this. These kind of purposes. Uh, we want to go ahead and put this in there and squeeze it out. Usually, I let it thaw out some. Come on. All right, got that concentrated apple juice. Put that in there. Okay. Uh, a little bit of rum, spiced rum. Actually, is what you want. All right. With that. A uh, little bit of molasses. This is great. This is gonna help that help the outside stay real nice and tacky. All right, got that. My old molasses. And last but not least, of course, you want apple cider vinegar. All right. Pour that in there. A little bit there. Like that should be good. Then we'll blend this up. And I'll put that in my sprayer. And we'll use this for spritzing. All right, so we got the Y640 out here rolling about 235. Got the 100% cherry lumberjacks loaded up in it, pellets. And we about to put that uh, those crunch style ribs on. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and put these bad boys on the pit. I'm going to go off the deck with them. All right, and I got me a grill mat in here. That way you won't have to worry about it sticking. Hopefully it'll save us a little on the cleanup. Let me get y'all tuned in here to where I'm going to be laying these bad boys. Oh yeah, it'll be good, y'all. I'm just gonna lay them off down through here, everywhere, and you know, we wanna, we wanna get a good smoke on them. You know, we want these things to kind of separate them a little bit because I want that smoke to get up in between them crevices, everything like that, and that way we get a good bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this thing up. I'll come right back to y'all. So what we're going to do, we're going to let it roll for about 45 minutes. Like I said, we're running about, what, 225, something like that, 220. And that's what the temperature is on the pork inside right now. So we will let it roll about 45 minutes and we'll check it. All right, Charles, it's been about 45 minutes. Go ahead and give them a check. Oh, yeah, looking good. I'm going to spritz them now at this point. Let y'all zoom in here real quick and get a good look at them. Go ahead and hit it with this spritz we made here just a little while ago. Get nice moist on there. About 124 internal. So I'm gonna go for another 45 minutes here with this spritz on there. And they looking nice, looking good, y'all. I like that. Y'all, hey, well it's been another 45 minutes, so they've been on for about an hour and a half. We've reached internal temperature of about 140. So I'm sure what we'll do, we'll make a, a, a braising bath for them, basically. First we'll do a little, little bit of uh, pineapple juice. Open this up, Let's shake it up first. And uh, pour this in the pan. 
and we'll also probably take a little bit of that um, or the, the spray or the base the uh, spritz that we've been using a little bit of that in there too because that's got a bunch of apple juice and good stuff like that so a little bit of that there remember it's got the molasses in there all right then we'll take a barbecue sauce of course i'm going to take this wonderful apple orchard barbecue and we'll pour some of that in there and just basically get it get it going Got all that right there. Let's put some of that sauce and mix it in with that apple juice and the pineapple juice and all that good molasses and everything like that. And we had the spritz. And we're going to use this as a braising liquid. So let's open this up. These things are looking really nice. And we're going to put them down there in that liquid. I'm going to cover them with foil and let them go a little while longer. And that's going to tender them up. Let's just go ahead and just put them down in here, right? And get everything in here. And we'll let them braise, tender up. But we'll flip them over, just make sure they get a good liquid, everything on them, all right? That's what we want. And we'll cover this in full, and I'll be back in just a minute to show y'all. All right, so get them all coated there in that liquid. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of tin foil over the top, seal this up really nice like that. And we'll put this back in here to go another at least hour and 15 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. Go ahead and just seal that and let everything just steam in there. Get that good braising. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom deck right there and let that roll, okay? It's gonna be real good. We'll be back here shortly. The ribs have been cooking an hour and 20 minutes covered. And now it's time to just take them out. They've hit about 200 degrees internal and what we're going to do is we're going to take them off of here i'm going to take them out of this uh i will take them out, out of the uh, the braising pan and we'll put them in something uh the sauce okay and put them on and put them on an, another pan on a rack okay so y'all look down here let's go ahead and open them up and check make sure they look okay Oh my word, it smells wonderful already. I'm going to get in front of the camera here. Now that's what we're looking at, right there. Super, super tender. But I'm going to take them out of here, we'll sauce them, put them on a pan with a grate, and I'll put them back in here and let that sauce set, okay? All right, y'all, check them out. Don't they look beautiful? What I did, I sauced them all with this sauce right here, this apple orchard barbecue sauce. and. Put them there on the on the grate. Now I'm gonna take some of this rub, the honey rub. I'm just gonna kind of just give them a light dusting with that. It's gonna help the bark to form on the outside of them again as or the, the, as the sauce thickens up on there. We're gonna put that honey rub on just like that, y'all. Now I'm gonna put them back in here for about 20 minutes and just let them roll. They're so good. Now, yeah, let those suckers cook. All right, y'all, it's been about 25 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and just get them off of here. Oh, wow, they look wonderful in there. Get my gloves on. I just want a little time for that sauce to set up and rub to kind of caramelize on there. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'll just look down there at those beauties. Sorry about that. That is gorgeous right there. Some beautiful country style ribs. So now I gotta go on and try one. Let's go ahead and get a little piece down here. Just a little piece of one. We had to bring these over for the neighbors. Everybody's wanting them. Let's just gonna break off a small little piece here with this fork. Let's go ahead and just give this a try. Right here, this man, this is, looks good. Look at that. Mmm, mmm. There's a flavor explosion right there. Mmm. Oh, Crunch Sour Thank y'all so much. I remember liking my videos, sub my channel. 
y'all check the description box where you can get all the stuff I use. God bless y'all and y'all have a good one.